stuff and stuff, if they have overtaken you, you're yoked up with a bad thing. You know what? Because the Bible says casting all your care upon him because he cares for you. Hallelujah. Nothing is too big for our God. <clears throat> Nothing is too big for him to handle. Hallelujah. You know what? You don't have a problem today that he can't handle. There's never been a problem in this world that you won't find the answer to in the Word of God. He can handle it. Amen. Hallelujah. Cast in all your care upon him because he cares for you. Hallelujah. Amen. So the yoke that you wear, <clears throat> and you know what? I've watched these boys tie their ties this morning, and I was thinking about a yoke. <clears throat> around somebody's neck. I was thinking about the yoke of the world. You know, and yoke is what they put on animals, you know, to guide them, to hook their uh, reins and stuff up to them, to guide them. You know, and what are you yoke with today? Are you, have you got a heavy yoke around your neck? Just burdens galore in this world and yoked down with the cares of this life and maybe sickness and disease and poverty and stuff like that. You're wearing the yoke of the world, the yoke of the enemies. But I'll tell you something, you can wear the yoke of Jesus because he said, my yoke is easy <clears throat> and my burden is light. And you know what? The yoke that they put on those animals, the, those <clears throat> oxen and you know, that they used to plow with and pull heavy loads with. You know, the yoke would wear a sore spot in their neck. And the longer they wore that, it would rub the skin raw. And it would just bleed and bleed and bleed. You know what? And, and th that's the way the yoke of the devil is. That's the way the yoke of this world is. It, it'll put a yoke around your neck and it'll rub it and rub it and rub it until it's just raw and bleeding and infected and I'll tell you what your life will be miserable your life will be miserable but Jesus said my yoke is easy and my burden is light hallelujah in other words you don't have to do it you don't have to care about it because Jesus took all of that and he cares for you he loves you and if you'd have been the only person left in this world that needed dying for you know he would have died just for you just for you he did you know what all the sin all the sickness all the disease all the corruption in this world was laid on a man that was sinless that did not do one sin that had never committed a sin in his life all our sin sickness disease corruption was laid on him he was bruised for our transgressions. Praise God. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Chastise. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. He suffered so greatly. Man, praise God. If we only knew. You know, a lot of people have seen that film and they... and. Um, they say how bad that it was, but you know what? It's not as, it's nothing compared to what he suffered because the Bible says that Jesus' visage was marred more than any man. He didn't even look like a man. He looked like a piece of meat hanging on that cross. Didn't even look human. He was marred and beaten and torn and scarred so bad. Oh, Lord, he, he looked like a bloody mess because of all the stuff, all our sins and griefs and iniquities was laid on him. He bore it. If you could realize what an awful, awful, awful death that he died. Oh, Lord, if you've got any compassion in your heart today, if you can just imagine, you know, we can't even imagine how bad it was. You talk about somebody being scarred for life. Oh, you know what? If it hadn't been for Mary and the disciples' faith and their hope in Jesus, oh, they were scarred. They would have been scarred for life seeing him go through the things that he went through. Oh, Lord, but I'll tell you what. Praise God. He deserves to be praised. He deserves to be lifted up. Hi, Jesus does. Because you know what? Never a man, never anybody has paid the cost that our Jesus paid. 
on that cross for us. Oh, if you realize that, you'll, you'll submit your life to him today. If he's dealing with you, dealing with your heart today, surrender your heart to him today because he loves you. He paid a great price, a great price so that you could be saved and have eternal life. A great, great price. Praise the Lord. I'm going to ask Brother Jonathan to come and bless us with a song this morning. Amen. You just stay tuned because you know what? He always has something good to say for the Lord. Say what's on your heart, Brother Jonathan, and, and, and bless us with a song. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus.